Hey guys! <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Oh my god, am I five? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. It's like an everyday summer makeup look. I do this most of the time. Sometimes I don't wear lashes. I haven't been wearing them that much recently, but like I will wear them most of the time. So that's basically the only thing that's a little bit off. And this is just really basic. I feel like I've done this a million times on my channel, but this is my summer makeup routine and I do it every day. This makeup look is so simple, like the eyeshadow and everything. I also have a peachy one of this, so if you want me to do that, I'm using the Sweet Peach palette. I use it all the time. Like this look, I wear it literally everywhere. It's this really peachy, pretty pink look. So if you want me to do that tutorial, please let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up or something. Let me know and I will do it. I just don't know if you guys want to watch it because some of those videos get no views. Anyways, I'm rambling already. This is just a fun little sit-down video, so if you guys enjoy it, make sure to subscribe and also check out all my social media in the description below. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. To start off with the makeup, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Hangover X Primer. This is a really good primer. I, like, I used to not use primer at all because... I don't know, I just like always forgot about it and I couldn't find like a good one. And this literally helps so much. It smells like coconut, oh my god. But like I, my makeup would never stay on all day and it was so annoying. So this primer, it literally helps. Like I'm not even just saying this, like it actually stays on all day. I have a foundation and a BB cream. This is the NYX Total Control Foundation. I'm in the shade 07, but this is too light for me. So I'm using a Maybelline BB cream to make it darker. This is in the shade medium deep. Um, my forehead is tanner than this part of my face and so whenever I apply it it's gonna look paler up here because I'm trying to make it all one color and then it looks kind of weird so just bear with me I use bronzer to make it all look better so I promise you if it looks weird it's just because like as you can tell my forehead is tanner than this part of my face and so trying to make it all even this top looks kind of weird and it looks too pale and then it looks weird so I'm just letting you know I'm just matching it to my neck not to like my forehead that's why it looks a little bit weird so I'm just gonna pop this on my face and uh yeah this foundation is wild like it is okay literally I feel like all right I'm so boring in my videos it used to be fun can it be more fun a am I in focus I don't know I'm just gonna put this on my face with a beauty blender and I, I mixed it on the back of my hand if you didn't see that. Why does it look paler? I always look in the viewfinder because I'm an idiot and like people are like, um, can you look at the camera? And then I'm like, no, nah, man. Because if I look at the, I don't want to hold my mirror. I hate holding my mirror. But like, so I think this is good. You see what I mean? The camera always makes it lighter too. And I think it that might be why. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm going to apply my... Naked Urban Decay Weightless Concealer. So I'm just gonna blend that in now. I'm gonna um, apply this powder now. So I use CoverGirl because I'm cheap and I can't afford to use the Laura Mercier powder on like a daily basis. I put it in all my videos because like I don't use that on a daily basis because I'm poor. So I use this CoverGirl powder and um, it's I just got this one for new, so that's good. Anyways, I'm applying this with a brush because, okay, I used to like bake, and I bake, like I still bake, but like only when I have time, so occasionally I like won't bake my face. I know, wild. I'm just gonna um, apply this to my whole face and then I am gonna bake, but like, just gonna pat this in because I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. I know beauty girls do it afterwards, but you know, I'm gonna break the hashtag rules and apply this under my eyes. And this is like translucent light. They don't have a translucent powder, but it's okay because... Okay, I like the e.l.f. one. This is like light enough to be translucent. It's fine. Um, I have, like, I like the e.l.f. one, and but every single time I try and get it, it's sold out. So I just get this. This is like my backup. And it gets everywhere, just warning you. It's a loose powder, if you couldn't tell. Um... Like obviously, I don't I don't mess around with pressed powder. And my mom decides to take a shower right when I'm filming. This is great. Okay, time to do my eyebrows. They are a they are a thing of their own. 
Okay, like literally, okay, I use the NYX micro brow and I never talk through my eyebrows, so I guess I'm gonna do this. Like, we're just gonna see how it goes. If it's, if it's bad, I have to get off camera, I'm just letting you know. So, I don't know what my actual eyebrows are. Like, I, they're literally so bad. They're so much lighter than the rest of my hair. Like, they don't match at all. They are really thin and they don't have good shape at all. And I get them waxed, but like, I haven't in a while, so I'm sorry. But like, they just naturally don't have good shape. So they kind of suck. And I want to get the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade. But I feel like I wouldn't be able to do that and that would just look awful. But it's okay. <laughs> Alright, I can't do this. I'm going off camera, ladies. They're a little bit sharp, but we're just going to roll with it. Because I... Okay, the lighting always makes um, one... This one look a different color than this one. I don't know why, but we're just going to... Ignore that. So for my eyes, I've already primed them, obviously, when I like primed my whatever. So, okay, so for my eyes, I do the simple look like literally every single day because it's so easy. So I'm using the peanut butter and jelly palette from Too Faced and I'm just gonna apply this onto my crease. I'm using the um, peanut butter shade, this little guy right there. Wait, did I point at the right one? Yeah, that one. And I'm mixing it with Nuts About You. It's this little orangey shade at the bottom. I'm applying this and it smells like peanut butter and I love it so it's great. This palette is not very pigmented, like it's kind of pigmented but it's not like as pigmented as the, um, the modern renaissance so I kind of have to use a lot and yeah. Make sure you kind of smoke it out and I this is a tip like I always have to like make sure that mine is like a wing and it's not like a closed circle on the end of my eyes because otherwise it's gonna make your eyes look really small and weird so really flare out your your eyeshadow if you know what I'm trying to say I'm gonna take this little small brush and I'm just gonna apply peanut butter cup and it's this one and I'm it's basically just this dark shimmery color and I'm just gonna blend it onto my outer V and like I said don't go overboard you can always clean it up to make sure it's not too big I'm gonna take bananas which is this gold color and I'm just gonna apply it right here kind of on the beginning of my lid and into my inner corner and then I'm gonna take the same little fluffy brush and peanut butter and I'm just dragging it onto my lower lash line because if I don't do this it's gonna look super weird when I wear falsies. So I'm using my Too Faced mascara as always. The best mascara and I have the waterproof kind which sucks. I hate waterproof mascara. I don't know why I buy it. But I'm just applying it to my lashes. I don't know why I just did my bottom lash mascara. <laughs> I wish I would just not say things that I say. Like, why do I say some things? So, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and do lashes now. I use the Ardo Double Up Wispies, and they're great. I use this glue, which kind of sucks. I have to use a lot of it, because otherwise it won't stick, and I've learned that because it always comes off in the inner corners and I hate it. So, I should probably get a different glue, but this is just like the, the blue kind on like the paintbrush. And what I've learned is such hip, if your eyelashes are coming off in the inner or outer quarter, apply all of the glue like this, and then when it, okay, when it's like basically half dry, you're just gonna apply more on the ends because that always for some reason dries quickest, and then it completely dries, and then the middle is like still half drying, so that's what I've learned. Um, it might just be this glue, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna apply these now. I don't know why they look like this. Now that this eye is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do this eyelash. Which, by the way, I don't know why the ends of these are like this. These eyelashes kinda suck. They're not my favorite. What is cracking? What's poppin'? Okay, can I shut up for like two seconds? Can you literally stop talking, Emily? Now I'm just gonna pop these baddies on. Why, why? All right. Wow, and here is my too pale forehead. So now I'm gonna fix that with some bronzer like I said I would. So I'm using my Becca Chrissy Teigen palette, which I always keep in the box because if I don't keep it in the box, I feel like I'll do something to it and it's so precious. I love it so much. I'm just gonna pop on this little baddie 
down here. If I say baddie one more time, I'm killing myself. I'm using this Real Techniques brush and I'm just, I feel weird holding it like this. I don't know why I'm holding it like that. See? Now for the highlight, I'm gonna take this little color up here. It's really nice. It's like very, I don't know, it's very bronzy, summery. Okay, if I don't go without a nose highlight, like if I go without a nose highlight, I think I will kill myself. Like I have to have a nose highlight. I don't know where this brush is from, probably literally Forever 21, but it's a great highlighting brush, so don't roast me. Okay, so we've coated our face in the goodies. Okay, now for the final step. I usually don't wear lip products. I'm just not a big lip product fan. Um, I use lip injection. Okay, where is it? I use my Too Faced lip injection, which is like the smallest little tube. <laughs> you know me and my samples. This is like the travel size, literally, because I, I don't need a big one. I don't use it like, I mean, I use it like mostly every day, but like I don't use it Sometimes I don't. Some, I, most, I don't wear makeup like every single day, so I don't need it that much. And sometimes I don't wear it, so I have the small thing. Um, Kylie Jenner is about to be trembling. The fact that she's literally not because my lips are not cute. Anyways, I guess we're done beating our face. This is kind of like a half glam. It's my natural everyday look. Sometimes I don't wear lashes if I'm not feeling it, but if I do, if I'm going out or whatever, I will wear lashes. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm weird. I'm quirky. Oh, I forgot. I sprayed my face with Mario Badescu Cucumber Spray. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch y'all on the flip side in my next video, which is gonna be a travel diary vlog thingy. I'm vlogging my Florida trip, so a Bye guys, I will see you in my next video. Love you.